Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. In this video, I'm going to be talking about helmets, specifically uh, dual sport helmets. So this is a helmet I've been using for the last few years. It's a Shubert E1. It's got a peak. It's got an internal sun visor. It's got a pin lock. I also have my Senna 30K on the side of it, and I also have a GoPro mounted with an internal mic, and the GoPro's in a housing with the, the, the mic adapter. Now, I know a lot of people have had a problem with this helmet. Uh, if you see my other video about it, I've actually quite liked it. Uh, I've ridden all the way across Europe. If I had one criticism, I found it is a little bit too warm in very hot weather, uh, but I've always found it to be very comfortable, very quiet. The peak hasn't vibrated, which is a problem that I know a lot of people uh, have had. Uh, just lately, I've found that the pin lock isn't sealing as well, but it's coming up to three years old. It has been used quite a lot, so I don't think that's that unusual. Uh, so in this video, what I'm gonna be talking about is this. This is my LS2 uh, Explorer Carbon. So this is what I'm replacing my Shubath with. And what I wanted to talk about was, first of all, why I picked that. Um, the LS2 is a significantly lower price point than the Shubath or even you know other similar ones. I know everyone's got helmets they like. Uh, a lot of it comes down to head shape. Some people like the bell. Uh, some people like you know the Arai's and the Showies. Uh, I've never really found they fit my head. I've probably got a weird shaped head, but Hey, what can you do? So first things first, um, what I'm gonna do is this is exactly how the LS2 comes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna take this out of the, the many bags that it comes with. And I know it's just packaging, but you know what? Sometimes you have to travel uh, with, your, with your helmets and the way that they've done this is actually pretty secure. So first up we have this LS2 bag. Uh, we've got LS2 written on one side and always ahead on the other side. I don't know whether that means they're in front or whether that's where you put it and its instructions, but we shall see. So you open this and inside, in, inside here, and this is quite a thick sort of padded bag. I mean, I'm sure, they don't, I'm sure they don't cost them a huge amount of money, but it's just a nice touch to have that on top of the inner bag that you get uh, with pretty much any helmet. Um, I do have a load of other things in here, which uh, I'll just quickly show you uh, what else comes with it. I've not installed all of this yet. What we have here uh, is an inflatable neck support uh, not sure whether I'd trust that in if I was doing something particularly dangerous. Uh, we also have some reflective strips uh, which can go on it, which uh, I think they're a requirement for France. Uh, I also have a fitting kit, you can see that, and that is to take the visor off uh, if you want to use it just with goggles. Um, I also have a pin lock, which is very exciting for those of you that are familiar with pin locks. If you live in a hot and dry country, you probably never have to use that. I live in a cold and damp country where those are kind of important. Uh, so yeah, so I get a lot of use from that. So the helmet itself uh, comes in another bag. Yes, I know you, you can probably have too many of these. Uh, this one, I've still left it in the inner bag just because I haven't really used it yet. Uh, but obviously that will, be, that will be going. This is my uh, LS2. Explorer Carbon. Uh, many, many different colors available. I went for the blue, white, and fluorescent orange, which sort of goes with my GS and sort of goes with my Honda, but doesn't really quite go with either because it's the wrong sort of blue. Um, let's give you a close-up look of that on the, on the GoPro. And if you can see, it's basically, it's a carbon fiber helmet underneath with a gel coat over the top. Um, it's not a flip-up helmet like the, like the Shuba. Uh, it's just a fixed one, but it does have a peak. Now, first of all, the peak is a lot is a lot more firm than it is on the Shubath. Uh, you know, it's one of the big criticisms that people had for the Shubath was that it did wobble around quite a lot. Uh, for the front, it does have a vent uh, that opens there. You can also have a, a clip to open the visor, which is kind of nice. Uh, the pin lock's not fitted to this, and there are fittings for uh, if you want to remove bits, uh, as I showed you in the other bag. Um, the control to drop the visor, you can see that here is just this, uh, no it isn't, there we go, it's the slide on the side there. So that just drops down an internal sun visor. Now, what I want to do is just show you the inside. So one thing I've seen sometimes with lower budget helmets is that they do compromise on the internal lining. Um, I don't know if you can see in there, but um, hold it up to that camera, but it's just really nicely finished. You know, I was surprised at how good these were when I saw them at Eichmer, and that's kind of what made me decide to want to buy it. I mean, it looks like, maybe you can see in there, that I'd never actually get my head into that little little hole, but I do, believe me. Um, the other thing that you might notice on here is this volume control, which I'll show you on there. So I managed to find a uh, the, the actual LS2 Bluetooth 
uh, on eBay and I think I only paid about 30 pounds for it. It is a Senna 10 underneath it, so it will work with my other ones and it means that I don't need to get another fitting kit. The fitting kit for the 30K alone was about 60 pounds. So this just seems to be a much better option all round. I think that's kind of everything that I want to talk about about the helmet itself. I'll put it next to the E1 so you can just see them side by side. I mean, they're helmets, right? Everyone who's watching this probably rides a motorcycle and probably uses a helmet, I think. So there's a few things with it. So first of all, um, it's the weight. Now, I think that the E1, even though it's a flip up, is a pretty heavy helmet. By contrast, I think the LS2 is really super light. Um, now, I know I've got all sorts of extra bits on this, including the GoPro and including the Bluetooth, but bearing in mind that this is with the Bluetooth already added. So all I need to do is to fit this up for for use with my with my GoPro and I can actually do a real side-by-side -side comparison. Now before I do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new mount onto this LS2. So when I was looking around for, for mounts to put on it I was delighted to find this company called uh, Wannabes I guess. Uh, they're based in the US unfortunately they don't ship to the UK uh, but when I was over there uh, earlier this year in January um, I did order one and had it delivered to a friend's house. So what they do is they actually 3D print helmet specific uh, mounts. So I'll show you what that looks like. So this is a helmet specific mount uh, to go onto the LS2. And basically where this fits is, I don't know if you can see just on these side pieces here, uh, just in that, oh, show you on that camera. There you go. So this is basically gonna fit on there and it does fit kind of exactly. Um, I'll show you exactly how that's, gonna, how that's gonna fit. And there's a few nice things with this. So first of all, it doesn't affect the airflow particularly. There is a hole underneath there, so there will still be uh, airflow coming into the helmet uh, once this is on. Uh, the next thing, and for anyone that's used a GoPro when you're riding, sometimes it is useful to be able to just get a glimpse that it's actually on and recording. Uh, and I think I'll be able to do that when it's actually mounted up there. And the very last thing is the angle. And what I'm gonna show you with that is, the problem I have with this uh, is that when I'm riding, generally, I kind of try and tilt it back as far as it'll go, but it still catches uh, on the visor, so it inevitably ends up tilting a bit forwards, and particularly when I'm standing, it, it ends up looking too much down. Uh, there isn't really anywhere else unless you put it on the top of the helmet uh, that would give you that, or if you can put it out front, which the, the wannabes one does. So, uh, yeah, this basically goes on the front, it's got some high quality 3M VHB tape, much like the GoPro mounts, and that is just gonna fit in there and I can mount my GoPro to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give this a wipe down, I'm gonna fit this to it, and then I'm gonna mount a GoPro to it and actually weigh the two of them side by side and see how they compare. I'm guessing that the LS2 is gonna be a little bit lighter. So here we go. This helmet hasn't really been outside, so I'm expecting it's gonna be pretty clear, clean on those two bits. So I'm just gonna pop that on. There we go. And that is just gonna fit in there. There we go, easy as that. And it really is a really good fit. I'll just again show you on the GoPro so you can see how that has fitted. And then have a look at it from the side. Um, yeah, I just think that's a really nice uh, solution. Where's the white bit, there we go. Uh, for fitting a GoPro uh, to, to a motorbike helmet. I mean, it feels really solid. Um, yeah, it is gonna be on all the time, uh, but to be honest, most of the time when I'm going out riding these days, uh, I have that on. Uh, the only other thing with it is it does come with a little GoPro tightener. So I'm just gonna put that, put that on. Um, I should add that also in the box, they did, they did send uh, a couple of these alcohol prep pads. So if you're putting on a helmet that you've already used, you could use that just to clean it down. Um, yeah, that GoPro piece just goes in there. Now what I'm gonna do, and if you've watched any of my CRF 300 videos, I know that some people don't really like this, but I'm gonna weigh them and we'll see how, how heavy this is. If you've seen my previous videos where I've weighed things, I've used a nice set of kitchen scales, and uh, yes, it has been suggested that maybe I um, get some that I can leave in the garage. So that's what this is. This is my high-tech helmet weighing bracket. First up, I'm gonna weigh the Shubath E1, and this has got a GoPro, it's got a Senna 30K attached to it, and it's got the, uh, uh, the microphone adapter for the GoPro 2. Okay, so the weight of that, which I'm guessing you probably can't quite see, is two kilograms, 300 
and 26 grams. So 2.326 kilograms, which I think is quite heavy. That's a big lump to have on the top of your head for several hours, especially if you're bumping around. So next thing, I'm just gonna take my GoPro off. There we go. So if you see how that is now uh, on the helmet, I just think that is such a, uh, such a nice design. It's just so clean. Um, it allows you to get that backwards tilt on it. But, and bear in mind, this is now the, the helmet with the same sort of configuration. It's, it's not a, a flip up helmet, but otherwise it's very similar. It's got an internal sun visor. Uh, it's got a peak. It's got the Bluetooth kit that's a center installed and it's got the GoPro on it. So what we're looking to beat is 2.36 kilos. So here we go. So this, the LS2, if we can get it to balance, is 1.822 kilos. So that is half a kilo lighter. Um, for those of you in the US, half a kilo is uh, just over a pound, I think. Yeah, 1.1 pounds, which might not sound like a huge amount, but if you think that's what's on the top of your head, that's what's bumping over every bump, and that's what you're trying to keep upright. You know, it's also about, well, it's, it's nearly a quarter. So it's nearly a quarter lighter uh, than the Shuba. So I am really looking forward to getting out and trying this. Um, I think it's a better GoPro mounting than I have on the on, on the Shubath. So I think it's a really nice solution and I think that this will be my go-to dual sport vlogging uh, helmet setup. So thanks to the guys at Wannabes. I know that they, they themselves are riders. They make mounts for all sorts of other helmets. Uh, I'm not paid to say that. I bought this um, I know if you're in the UK, it is going to be hard uh, to get one of these because currently they're not shipping to the UK. But if you're in the US or anywhere else where they do ship to, I think they might even ship to Europe. I think they're, they're worth a try. Uh, if you have a look on their website, and I'll put a link in the description, then you'll see just how many different helmets that they make this for. So there you have it. That is my video about the LS2 Explorer Carbon uh, with the Wannabe's uh, GoPro mount mounted to the front of it. This will be my go-to helmet for the next year or two, I think, uh, certainly for touring and for dual sport riding here in the Peak District. Um, so yeah, hope that's been interesting and useful. If it has, hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And if you've stayed this long and you want to see me put it on, this is kind of how it goes. just to prove it does actually fit on my head. There you go, and that really is quite comfortable when it's on like that.